Well, reloaders and shooters out there, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And what we have here is the Hornady Automatic Powder Dispenser and Hodgdon H322 Powder. We're going to be loading for the 223 Remington. And we're going to go over some questions, frequently asked questions, about the Hornady Automatic Powder Dispenser. There are some programming features with the Hornady Automatic Powder Dispenser that we need to go over to really make this unit sing and work well for us. So one question is, this unit made by Hornady costs about $100 less than the Automatic Powder Dispenser made by RCBS. So the question is, is this unit any good? Since it costs less, is it cheaper or is it not as good? Is it uh, not worth the money? This kind of thing. Well, when you look at this, this unit is nicely made. Plastic, sure, but it's finished well. And it has some, some quality to it. So we've gone ahead and calibrated the unit. And we've set the speed to slow by using the speed button. So the question that's most often asked is, how can we minimize the overcharges so that we get good charges that we can put into our cartridge cases? And so it takes another level of programming. To do that, we want to set the trickle speed at a slower speed of trickle. And you do that by pressing the calibrate button and holding it down, and that gets you into the setting of the trickle speed mode. We use these two buttons here to raise or lower the speed. So there's at point 0.3 speed, we'll go to point 0.2 speed. There it is. And then to lock that in the memory, we go ahead and press the back button. And there it is. Now when it's zeroed out, that you see right there, we can use the mode button to set how far away from the final charge setting the slow trickle engages. So we hold the, the mode button down and you'll start seeing there's point 0.2, point 0.4, point 0.6. We'll go to point 0.8 and let go. That programs that point 0.8 in so that point 0.8 grains before the final charge, it'll start doing the slow trickle. Now we enter the charge and in this case is 25 0.2 grains of H322 powder. We'll enter that into our target memory, press dispense, and when we do that, it'll zero and then start trickling, start to dispense the powder. Now watch, it'll get up to 23 or 24 grains, then slow down. You see it's going slow now. You can hear it trickling slowly. 25.2 is the target. And there is a good charge. We go ahead and dispense that into a case. And when we put the pan back on the platform, it'll zero and then throw another charge. Get another case ready. There's 23.9 and it's slowing down at 24. Now this takes a little longer if you set the trickle point farther away from the final point, but you'll get fewer overcharges. There's another good charge. Another good charge.
Now, of course, this time can be used to do other things, but there's another good charge. You see there are no overcharges. Now, we could set the point of trickle a little bit closer to the final so we don't waste as much time. Then we hold the mode button down again, and then there's point two, point four. We'll leave it at point four. Then we have to enter the charge again, put that in the memory, and then press dispense. Let's see if that will run a little faster for us without getting its overcharges. Now that seemed to be a little faster. So the question is, what about the heavy stick powders like 4831 or Rotumbo? Oftentimes we'll get overcharges because of the big stick powders. How do you prevent that from happening with the Hornady unit? And here's how you do it. So the answer to the question about the heavy stick powders like 4831 Rotumbo is to use the soda straw modification along with the other slowing of the trickle speed and the time duration of the trickle to begin. Have that programmed in, but then introduce the soda straw modification. This modification has a little extension that prevents the, the soda straw from going all the way into the pipe. And there you go. These little tooth-shaped serrations will reduce the flow of the heavy stick powders and allow one or two or three grains to drop at a time and that gets you to the final charge without the overcharge. Emptying the powder back into the jar is very easy to do. The little drain pipe is right here. Just make sure when we're done with the powder dropping that we turn the valve back up so that we don't leave it open. Well, the RCBS unit certainly has more memory features to it, but the Hornady does everything I needed to do and I'm very happy with it. So uh, take care. We'll see you next video. Bye for now.